Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am here with my Memphis and Charlotte. They are both the Alexis kit by Cassie Brace, painted by myself. They will be soon rooted, <laughs> both of them. They are from my personal collection actually. And I brought them on to feature them because I wanted to say that I think over time we all collect like many, many sculpts and then we like favor one or the other and Many collectors have this uh, thing where they don't believe in collecting multiples of the same sculpt. And I used to be one that wasn't really particularly fond of having the same sculpt like multiple times in my collection because I like a variety in my collection. You know, as I do with skin tones, so do I do with sculpts and sculpt sizes and expressions, open eye, closed eyes, closed fist, open hand, you know, all that great jazz um silicone and reborns um so i like the variety in my collection but over time as i've said over and over again my perspective have changed and my collecting style is constantly changing as the world evolves i feel like my collection evolves as well um some may call it evolving some may call it downgrading um so I want to say first, before I get into the other topic of today, is I want to say that this is became, this have became my number one favorite sculpt of 2021. <laughs> As we're about to end the year, I want to say this this has to be my favorite sculpt. Um, the second favorite, well, it's in a different category, so I would have to say um, my favorite in babies would be the Alexis Sculpt by Cassie Brace. And then my favorite for toddlers, which I used to really, really be in love with my Phoenix, which is Lynn by Bonnie Brown. And I'm still very much in love with that sculpt as I feel is very realistically sculpted in my opinion for my taste. And um, I have to say that because you guys are so sensitive. <laughs> So am I. Anyway, um, so the Mealy sculpt by Ping Lao has definitely jumped the charts and apparently it is becoming a very fast, rapid pace of uh, Mealy's popping out everywhere. I think um, as me and one of my dolly sis were talking about it the other day, the Mealy sculpt is becoming the new limb. <laughs> so um, we are seeing them everywhere, every skin tone, every hair texture you know, in every which way we can imagine possible, which is amazing. Um, but that is my number one toddler kit. Um, and I also have to say for, um, for smilers, my favorite smiler kit, which I am typically not a smiler person. So I am definitely not the one to collect a lot of smiling babies. I don't want to see the baby kind of stuck in that expression all the time. I know we could put a pacifier on it or whatever, but I'm just like, I like more subtle, serene uh, expressions for the most part, but every now and then it's nice to have something different in your collection. So I would have to say that the Cody Bear by Laura Tudor Ross is my favorite smiler. I think it's a very natural facial expression and of course you can't go wrong when it looks just like the original um real baby cody bear so um that would be my favorite fat <laughs> i know fat is like used as a bad word but i don't mean in a bad way like my favorite chubby if that makes it to me chubby makes me think of like smelling like cheese so i don't really like to say chubby i'd rather say fat what's wrong with fat anyway so, big baby, okay? <laughs> um, so, um, Cody Bear is my favorite smiler. Um, but my most favorite face in my collection, as far as, like, gives me such an ethnic vibe. And I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. You know, I know people have all these facts and all this data on how the bone structure of African-American people is supposed to look and this and that. I don't care about any of that. To me, Zora has such an eccentric face and I love that. Um, so I would have to say Zora is one of my other favorites. Jude is my most serene sculpt. Jude by Ogre R. 
is another sculpt that it's really really um I, I every time i see that sculpt i love it like it, that kit does not even need paint and it's beautiful if i have to say the most beautiful sculpt face the hands the feet everything is just so beautiful on that sculpt that's jude by ogar and that's a smaller baby more petite baby so and i do plan to paint another one of that again um so i really 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 have been um loving the um really really loving the different kits and sculpts in um my collection and i'm looking forward to some other new faces that i hope to bring and paint um here soon but i just wanted to uh at least say that and i also one of the the main the my favorite features on the alexis kit and the reason why i say it overall it is my number one favorite kit of all the kits that i have because i love the hands i love the feet i love the legs i love the arms i love the face i love the mouth i love the eyes i love the nose so i love everything about this sculpt so therefore it kind of supersedes everything else. Um, another kit that I, well, I, I and, and let me let me say this, I love a lot of kits in, I love all of my babies in my collection, but I just wanted to highlight those just for the moment. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to my next topic, and I want to just talk about um, one of the reasons why. I feel like a lot of uh, silicone um, collectors, lovers of silicone, um, always revert back to Reborns. And um, I'm probably not going to go too deep into that in this video and make a part two with just separate on that. But I, the one thing I want to say is that, I mean, look at it. The diversity of the Reborns is amazing. Um, the accessibility is number one and I've been saying this for the longest accessibility is everything I asked on my page today Where are you guys buying your silicone blank kits from? and Not many people answer which sometimes I ask those kind of questions and collectors are afraid to actually say that because One either, you know, the hobby is so competitive and a lot of artists don't want to say because they don't want you buying what they're buying Number one. Number two, other collectors are afraid that they're going to piss off their artists because artists don't want their collectors, like they own their the collectors, to actually um, talk about anything other than their work. So, um, yeah, so I didn't get much of a response on that. But I can tell you, me, that I've been searching around and trying to find the silicone blank kits and it's been a challenge and the number one thing is accessibility definitely um some a lot of sculptors have their clicks and they're very into very much into politics and they only sell to certain people or you have to know somebody to know somebody to get on the list to buy from them and so that's the thing with the silicone, which is a kind of frustrating and it's kind of a turn off and it makes you kind of like don't want to be bothered with it. And I think a lot of people are intimidated by MacPherson in today's time because MacPherson is becoming the new Bountiful Baby and will dominate the market, market, I believe, within the next few years. And they will own everything, the kits, reborn, silicone, paint, supplies. They are, they, they are, in fact, they are... In my opinion, they are more valuable than Bountiful Baby when Bountiful Baby is such a huge, 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 huge um, company. But MacPherson is fierce and they are taking over, dominating the market. And they have an edge on Bountiful Baby because they not only offer you reborn kits, but they are now offering you silicone kits. So rightfully so a lot of the smaller business are struggling and trying to figure out how can they bring something to the table that will keep their business afloat why keep everybody not going directly to MacPherson um the one thing that MacPherson have 
over a lot of businesses is that they ship fast, they have free shipping, and they pretty much have everything you need right there. So, and you don't have to worry about politics. If you want a silicone kit, you just put it in your basket and you buy it. Um, I have not bought one, so I can't speak on the process itself and how long it takes, but I have a dolly sister that actually bought, um, or a couple have bought from them and gotten their kits in a fairly reasonable time. Um, so I think that's another thing that they have an edge on, but of course they are a company. They have the ability to do so. And I do believe they do actually have a, a actual brick and mortar storefront in wherever they're from. Um, so there's that. Um, but the silicone market also is, um, what I found, and I and I probably go into this in a different thing, but like I said, it it's the politics and all that stuff. But also, I have seen people show like, okay, this kit is coming out, that kit is coming out. I've been waiting for months now for a kit to actually come out, and it hasn't came out. Um, but then now I finally seen that they finished it, but then it still hasn't came out. And then some they never even come out like they say they're gonna get it out and then they move on to a whole nother scope and then that never comes out so it's a lot with silicone versus reborns reborns are just easy you know even though they have the pre-orders sometimes the pre-orders take longer than expected but then you got the pre-orders and then we're not going to even get into silicone painting which is definitely complex the prices are much higher and I'm not talking against silicone because absolutely I want to be able to sell my silicone babies to you guys or make them for myself and be able to buy kits. Um, I also find that if I speak my opinion too much and go too far into it, I'm definitely going to be on the blackball list of not being able to buy kits. <laughs> um, and I'm just kind of finally being freed up to where people actually have been selling kits to me. Um, once they realize that I am not the monster that people have created me to be. Um, but I do want to say that, I mean, it's just the silicone babies are just, you know, it's easier. The reborns are more accessible to buy. Um, although reborns have been climbing the chart in prices, I feel like, um, I, I don't know. I, my value system has changed with the reborns versus silicone as well. I feel like the reborns are worth um, the prices in today's market just because the artists have stepped their game up and not only that it's just it's a it's a level of um, uniqueness that you get and I don't know I just I don't know I, I've been enjoying my reborns I, I feel um, like I enjoy dressing them a lot more and it's just it's just a lot um but I will always be a silicone um collector and I will always love silicone a tad bit more just because I love the um I love the the way that that they are made um I love the way that silicone feels and and all that jazz but I um, I just, you know, it's just that Reborns are more affordable and I just, I won't say they're more durable because that is all based off of how they're painted, um, textured, whatever, with both silicone and Reborns because they both can have issues and they both have, you know, um, things that can go wrong with both of them. Um, hair, paint, everything. It's, it's really not much difference there is based off of how they're painted for the most part and how you take care of them so um yeah so but yeah that I think that that collectors tend to revert back to reborns and reborns will always have their place because the fact that they are accessible they are less afford less expensive and they're more affordable and I just I think it's just easier to collect them um also, I think it's a little, I don't know. I'll get into that in another video. If you guys want me to continue this conversation on reborns and silicones, I will do that. But for today, I just wanted to give you guys my top picks for 2021 so far. And I wanted to um, just kind of 
start an intro into that topic. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you are subscribed to this channel. If you're not, that's okay too. Click the bell if you want to be a part of the notification squad and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and all com comments are definitely read and appreciated. Thank you.